Okay, chat, I'm back. Oh, that's right, you guys will have to name this weevil. If you haven't looked at the weevil channel yet, you do get to name weevils, just saying. So, that weevil in there will have a name soon. Decided by you guys. So will all of the ironweeds who were on stream last week. Let's look at crappy aquariums for like 20 minutes, all right? Let's not lose our faith in humanity in that time. We can do top of the month. It's been a while, I think, right? Yeah, it's been long enough to look at some crappy aquariums. You can say shitty? No, I can't. I'm turning over a new leaf and never cursing again. Just kidding. I'm still going to curse a lot, but I'm going to try to do it less. I've been do I don't know if you guys have noticed. I've been doing it less as of late. Especially in the first 30 seconds of a video where YouTube can demonetize me for saying a curse word Poggers. for no reason whatsoever. But I won't complain in fear of losing my livelihood. Anyways, thank you Finnish Flapjack for the sub. Let's look at some crappy aquariums. Don't tell. What the heck? I didn't curse. <laughs> She's telling on me. Where is the camera pointing? Where is this? This is the angle you think the people want? Jesus, Zach. Get your crap together. Get your crap together. That's the word that I would have used in a natural situation, definitely. Remember Gary the Pleco, who lived in a five gallon for almost 10 years? Okay, there's something about the name Gary. That's all I'm going to say. Because when I lived at Rutgers, we had a pond that had a goldfish in it that was named Gary. And no matter how much crap got put in that pond, the pond would get to like one inch of water, like completely dry. No one would take care of it whatsoever. We would put in like predator fish and everything. Well, I'd say we, not me. People would put in predator fish just to see what would happen. Apparently a bunch of people poured beer in there after like a picnic one time. Gary got like the worst of it until I showed up. I started taking better care of Gary. But Gary was a monster. That dude was invincible. This is a goldfish that lived in the pond for so long and took so much abuse that we were questioning whether someone was replacing it with a different goldfish every time it died. So all I'm saying is if you want a pet to live long, you should probably name it Gary because there seems to be some kind of correlation here. I hope karma is real. I absolutely love my jellyfish lava lamp. That's fake. Surely. Those aren't real jellyfish, right? Oh my god, there's a fish in there. Oh my god, there's a betta fish in there. Oh, oh, oh no. I thought it was talking about the jellyfish. Oh no, there's a there's a betta fish in there, isn't there? Yep, I see that now. Oh no, yep, okay. Oh my god, it's on a permanent roller coaster. It's gonna die so soon. Who thinks like, do you not? Okay. I understand it's hard to put yourself in the situation of a fish and be like, oh, you know, small tank, small environment, room, stunted growth, whatever. I understand it can be difficult to place yourself in these situations. And so some people don't understand that what they're doing is wrong. But I don't understand how you could look at something getting tossed in a circle over and over again and be like, yeah, that's cool. You just have to have absolutely zero empathy, right? Like you have to have no concept of empathy because a natural, a normal person would look at that, even if they knew nothing about animals and be like, huh, I don't like when I spin in circles violently. Maybe they don't like that. I always forget I own this thing. Rip. Still thriving or surviving, I guess I should say. As goldfish do. Barely, though. Look at how lethargic that goldfish is. Jesus. Homie is barely swimming. Just keeping his face at the surface of the water because there's probably zero oxygen in the water. Saw this at a reception counter. Does this seem... Does this count? The SpongeBob tanks. SpongeBob tanks are a red flag. If you ever go over someone's house and they have a SpongeBob fish tank, run. First date. It's going incredibly well. You decide to, you know, you talk till 1 a.m. Second date goes incredibly well. Third date, you come over. SpongeBob fish tank. Don't do it. Oh, here's our neon Tetra friends. 
How is this even possible? The worst I've seen in almost 30 years of being a hobbyist. I... Arapaima? Wait, I thought it was an Arowana at first. Are there two Arapaima? First of all, how did you get your hands on two of those? That's got to be illegal, right? When we fished in... Um, in Malaysia. Now keep in mind, Malaysia has pretty lax laws as far as fish go. They don't really give a crap for the most part. Even with like highly endangered fish, the only reason that those fish are protected is because normal citizens are protecting them. But not Arapaima. Wait, what am I talking about? I'm talking about Arowana. There's no Arapaima in Malaysia. I'm drunk. Let's move on. Small tank. Oh, they're all just feeder goldfish. Oh my god, cute TikTok where the attractive boy gets cute goldfish. Wait, he went to two different places? Wow. That, that goldfish is going to eat the hell out of that goldfish. Let me tell you something from experience. That goldfish is going to eat the hell out of that other goldfish. Why, why is this person upset? Hold up, I'm I got it, it's adorable. Happy speed and not have a baby. What is this? Why did I turn the audio on? What the fuck was that? I thought I was going to hear a normal conversation where I could understand. What was that? <laughs> I turned the audio on for two seconds. Done. <laughs> I just wanted to. Well, now I have to listen to the whole thing prank my mom and get a baby fish and say that her fish she's been raising for 13 years had a baby, even though we don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Here's us buying the fish. He's a whole 24 cents of tax. She has no idea what's going on. 24 cents for the feeder goldfish? Hi, buddy. Here's me putting the fish in. Don't mind that the tank is very dirty. Did he have a baby? Quite dirty and small. Mom! <laughs> Wait, there was a dragon. What? He was pregnant? <laughs> Hold up, I'm s I got it, it's adorable. I'll be speaking and not have a baby. What is this guy? You fuck? Here's her admiring him. Okay, it's kind of a fire prank if you take out the whole like animal abuse part. <laughs> I feel like if you just let the animal abuse slide. Kind of a good prank. Oh geez, this is the original to that. Okay, stop, stop. What? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Hold on. This needs proper attention. What is going on here? Are there six gold? He just tried to jump out. Are there six goldfish in what is a s not better than like a leftover food Tupperware? Speaking of which, I have to wash that food Tupperware that I borrowed. Um, Are there six goldfish? In <laughs> There's more... Stop scrolling. There's more room spent. Like, m this takes up more room. The top and decoration takes up more room than there is water. By a lot. Oh my god, is that a common carp? Where did you get that? Where is homie just finding a common carp? <laughs> and why are you taking it home? You can't do that. I guess you can do that, but why are you doing that? It's I just don't understand. Yes, rivers in the United States. I know. They're everywhere. Not just rivers. They're in every freaking lake and pond, too. They're common. They are common, but why? Why would you ever want to do this? Why would you ever do this? I don't understand. Whoa.